Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Johnny5 here with a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about the retirement plan that is going to be changing in the future. Now I talked about it a little bit in my previous video that I uploaded yesterday but I'm going to talk more in depth here. So first off I want to say sorry for the echo. It's kind of echoey in this room so I don't have much in here except my desk and a few other things. Also guys, we are about to hit 1k subscribers and that's just crazy to me. I want to thank you guys and tell you guys that I appreciate all the support, everyone that has subscribed and everyone that continues to follow the videos. Just thank you guys for everything. First things first, so as some of you know the retirement plan is at the 15 mark or 20 year mark is when you get a pension. You will retire and you will continue to get paid depending on your pension plan and everything else that you have done throughout your naval career. A lot of people like that gave them something to strive for so they would continue to stay in, continue to get to that mark. Now this retirement plan change will not affect people that are in the military right now. When it will go into effect is 2018. So if you are in before that, you will be grandfathered into the plan that is in place right now. So I will tell you guys if you want to make a career out of it, I would get in as soon as possible before 2018 because if you don't, you will have no choice to what plan you want. Your retirement plan will be based on TSP investments and they will use that kind of in a 401k strategy basically and in my opinion 401ks are horrible the TSP is government investments basically there's different things that you could do with TSP you have the you have control over where the investments go you could do you have multiple options and you could do riskier investments or just safe investments so it's up to you. You could log into your account and change that. It's up to you how much you're going to make, I guess, when you retire. That's how they put it. You're in charge of your investments. That's what they're switching to instead of the pension plans. Now this is kind of good for people that are not going to stay in for 20 years, 15 years, because they're saying that people that stay in for two years or four years will see receive some benefits from this. But you can already invest in TSP. You have that choice when you go to boot camp. You can choose how much percentage you want to go into that of your paycheck every single month, every first and fifteenth. You already have access to that, but maybe they will be adding more in there. I'm not sure they didn't give too much details on the subject since it's gonna be two years from now. So if you are in before January 1st, 2018, you will have the option of switching to the new plan, but that's only if you don't plan on staying in 20 years, maybe you want to look at that and look at the benefits if it can benefit you ultimately when you get out. Are you going to have some change left? Are you going to have investments that are worth it to you? So you're going to have to do your own analysis about that if you're in before 2018. But I highly recommend if you're looking to get into the Navy right now before 2018 is probably the best time because you will have that choice of what plan. But if you get in afterwards, you will not have any choice towards your retirement plan. But then again, this is really only going to affect people that decide to stay in for their career and stay in for 15, 20 years. And they will also be implementing some financial study classes that will help you kind of figure out how to save more money and all that stuff in 2018. Now, I agree with that. There should definitely be more financial classes and teachings in the military because a lot of people don't know how to save, they don't know how to invest. That is just, it's horrible because people will not have money when they get out or just simply money while they're in. That can make a huge impact 
because some a lot of people don't go out the way to research and study and get everything they need to know about investing so they can make the best of the income that they receive. The pension plan has given people kind of an incentive to staying in for 20 years, 15 years. Now this investment, TSP Investments, now it's designed to grow over time. So obviously the more time you put in the military, it's, they're gonna continue to add money in your TSP account, it's going to grow. The more you stay in, the more it grows. It's just, I think it's kind of riskier and it's more slow because you are you don't know how much you're going to receive out of that really. What happens if you put 20 years in and then you are not at the amount that you need to retire or something goes wrong. I believe they are doing this due to budget cuts and all that, they're trying to cut back on that stuff. But I believe it's gonna impact people that are coming in. They may not stay in because of that for 20 years. They may only do a short term, one contract or two contracts. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions regarding investing or the TSP plan, everything else, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Send me a message if you want. Please drop a like, drop a comment. Please subscribe if you are new. And it's been Johnny Five, and I'll see you guys next time.